Hello, today we are going to discuss an interesting and burning topic New Britain notation SARS CoV 2, whether it is harm or benefit to the human beings. We are going to see the biology to create awareness and to remove the myths and misconceptions of the mutation. So, with the available data, I am going to present this, this presentation. See, remember this is a basic SARS CoV 2 structure. Everybody aware of the past seven months, we are keep on seeing this structure. Just recollect for one minute. This has four important proteins. One is membrane protein, next one is envelope protein, third one is nucleic capsid, fourth one is spike protein. Apart from that, the RNA. Each one is coded by one gene. For example, membrane protein M gene, spike protein S gene, envelope protein E gene, like that. We shortly call it as MENS. Membrane, envelope, nucleic capsid, and spike. Then see the pathogenesis, just recollect. Human cell has a receptor called AC2 receptor with a co receptor Tempest 2. This SARS virus have a spike. The spike protein, the spike will attach specifically attach to AC2. With the help of the co receptor Tempest 2, it facilitates the entry of the virus into the cell. So, the chemistry between the spike protein and the AC2 facilitate the entry of the virus into the cell. This SARS CoV 2 has higher tropism over AC2, so there is high transmissibility than the earlier SARS viruses. That is the reason. You know that already we have discussed. This spike protein, we have constant mutations. Mutation not only in spike protein, any part of the virus may occur. And uh, mutation is the constant thing in any microbe. Viruses are more prone for mutation because of the survival. See here, this is a missense mutation in February. Spike protein already we have elaborated, uh, discussed elaborately. See, in 614th position, the aspartic acid, we call it as D, changed into glycine, we call it as G. So, we call the mutation as D614G and we know the biological property of that. But now, in the same spike protein, in the place of 101, asparginine, we call it as N into tyrosine, Y. So, now the new mutation is called N501Y and why people are talking about this very seriously, I will tell you. The mutation has a name. First they kept the name VUI 2020-12-01. It is having other name, current name is VOC. First name is VUI, current name is VOC 2020-12-01. And it is otherwise called B1.1.7. So, what is the name nomenclature? How they kept the nomenclature? What VUI or VOC stands? What is the number means? Everything has some meaning. Just one minute, we will learn about it. VUI means variant under investigation. Variant under investigation. Now we call it as VOC, variant of concern. The 2020 means year of discovery 12 the month december usually from october one it's going but they officially declared is 12 month of deduction and 01 is version variation first variant 0102 that is the nomenclature and don't think only the mutation happened in spike protein almost 17 places they have the mutation but very notorious is the spike protein next is Yes, D614, the old version, now it become N501Y, whether it is benefit or harm. Just four points will conclude. Number one, effect the first we know the biology of the mutation, effect of the mutation. What happens? Where there is change in the spike protein, increased trophism over AC2 receptor. That means more attachment, more trophism, which will the in virus become more contagious. The number of infectious cases will be increased. So, the transmission rate will be increased. That is obvious thing. 
because the virus want more host it want to infect more people so it change according to the host ac2 receptor more trophism so what are the biological effect we are going to face number 1 will it be more dangerous or will it be more deadlier because everybody is having the fear covid 19 the answer is no because the major mutation happen on the spike protein so the virulence is not affected mutation only on in spike protein major mutation so no change in pathogenesis or virulence or disease pattern till now till now with available data it not change its virulence pattern or disease pattern but only number of cases will be increased second question will it affect the lab diagnosis because we are detecting the gene if there is a mutation in the gene will it affect the answer is for india it is no for example no indian guidelines we are detecting as per icmr guidelines n gene e gene or drp gene only mainly so the mutation happened only on s gene mainly s gene so no problem for indian lab diagnosis but the countries which using or test kit exclusively using for s gene may face the problem okay next is will it affect the treatment i'll say no because there is no proper or specific antiviral treatment for covid 19 we have a protocol we follow the existing same protocol nothing wrong in it fourth one yes is a million dollar question will it affect vaccine efficacy because spike protein will attach on the ac2 receptor the attachment is prevented means there is no infection that's the main target spike protein antibodies are the main target usually so current studies current data what it says it is possible that variants at this position affect the efficacy of the neutralization of the virus but many of the vaccine developers says no it is not a strain it is not a strain it's a variant but the mutation occurs in receptor binding domain rbd that's we need to have little concern but currently we have no neutralization data of n501 is available so soon they are going to develop the antibody they will check any cross reactions are there any cross protection was there they will tell so currently it's a question mark vaccine efficacy vaccine developers saying it may not be all assumption after the trial only we know whether the vaccines are affected by this mutation or not so the take home message is number 1 high infectivity without changing its uh, disease pattern or pathogenesis number 2 no change in virulence and treatment there is no change we can use the existing treatment lab diagnosis except yes gene rest of the genes we can use proteinly and very very important point vaccine efficacy we cannot make a comment on at this stage it needed more data so always be safe and hope for the best thanks for watching this video any queries you can contact me on my mail id or the mobile number thank you very much